Hi, this is Jeff Heaton. Okay, so what is really important? Family, pets? No, this is not some COVID 2020 uh, reflection video. I'm talking about neural networks. What are important to neural networks? You can see the heat map going on around me. It's attempting to classify this entire image. And the more red areas are the things that the neural network thinks are important for the overall classification that you see at the top of what it thinks the scene is. And then the smaller heat map shows you just really focused what the neural network is actually looking at. Now we can change that around in, in real time. It's, it's seeing hickory here. What's important to hickory is cheese. Hickory, look up, there we go, good boy. And we can definitely remove things from the image, such as me, or such as Hickory, sorry. And that's um, just, just looking at this. So this is another presentation that I went to at the GTC conference. This is the Explaining Neural Networks, A Causal Perspective. This was presented by Vineeth N. Balasubramaran. I apologize if I messed that name up. He's an associate professor at IIT in Hyderabad. So the code that I found for this was just working on a single image at a time, which is fun. But I thought, let's modify it so that it works on video. I've got a lot of compute power with this Lenovo ThinkPad P53 that I have on loan from Lenovo for a couple of weeks. So let's, I might also look at real time. Would you be interested in seeing this kind of thing in real time, literally camera to screen? I'm doing this in post-processing, so I don't actually know what the neural network is actually seeing in this, in this picture. Is this seeing you, Hickory? All right. Let's have a quick look at this. I'm not gonna take you back through the whole thing, but you can see it focuses on the laptop, the couch, and the dog. It classifies the dog as a boxer, as occasionally a French bulldog, never actually the English bulldog that he is. For some reason, ImageNet, and that's what we're using here, could care less about me, which is fine. Now, if you're curious, what I used to create the video is FFmpeg, and then I wrote some code around it that just runs the video through it. And syncing up the audio was a bit of a, a trick as well, but not, not too hard. If you're interested in seeing how I add this sort of real-time thing into video, let me know in the comments. I can definitely do a video on that, real-time augmentation. I want to get into some augmented reality, so we're going to definitely see more of this kind of thing from me. Okay, let me go ahead and show you this actually run. This code that I have, I got from a link at the conference. It is a Keras implementation of the CAM grad algorithm. I'll have a link to the original source to it in the description. I basically just grabbed it so that I could download it and run it on my local computer. So I'm going to run this on the laptop here. This locally has available a Quadro RTX 5000. It's a very nice GPU. I'm going to run just this part to see it start up. I've got a couple of images here. I'll also put a link to my notebook so that you can run it with the same images and everything that I have or run it in Google Colab if you so desire. I'm going to run this. It'll show a picture of my dog that you saw earlier in this video. Let's go ahead and define the algorithm. Now I will be the first to admit I have not played with the cam, the gradient cam algorithm much at all beyond this conference. So I'm not going to even try to explain exactly how it's working. I will probably be incorporating this into my course. So you'll see a video coming from me where I go a little more deep into this. Go ahead and run that. Okay, so you can see 
the heat map shows that whatever is in the middle is the most important. So right in here, his, his face. You can also see that it predicted that he is a French Bulldog. Hickory is actually an English Bulldog. Hey, Hickory, it said that you're a French Bulldog. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he doesn't like that. Now let's run this part. This is what we were seeing in the video. And you can see there it is, it's, it's his nose, wrinkle, and he does actually have another tooth. He just has it under his, his little snout right there. All right, let me go ahead and run one other image that I had queued up here. This is of me. Turns out it's more interested in the background than me. I'm gonna go ahead and run this. There is me next to a Doctor Who police box at Nova Southeastern University. And I'm going to, I don't need to redefine that. I'll run this. We should get that same heat map. There it is. I'm gonna run this part and we'll see what it's really, it's looking at that. It doesn't really care about me, that's okay. But it said that, yeah, it said that it's a mailbox. Close, not really. But I can see where it's going with that. But that lets you look at this and really see what is the most important. So right about here, that window, or in here in particular. I don't know what is mailbox about that. Maybe the blue color? But I think the confidence also is not, it's, yeah, only about 25% confidence. Thank you for watching this video. And if you find this kind of thing interesting, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, Hickory, we're done.